is everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good day. I am having a good day. I pull my hair back in a ponytail. I pull my hair back a lot just because I don't know. I don't like the style of it right now. And um, so I'm going to. Hey, y'all comment below what kind of a do you think I should get. I'm going to do a do. You know, when I was growing up, we called it a hairdo. You went to the beauty shop and you got a hairdo. I look like I've got a sunburn. I think I overdid it on blush today, y'all. Mm-hmm. Then again, it just kind of looks like I got a little bit of sun. And that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so what do I got today? I wanted to talk to y'all about something. I brought it up the other day and I thought, you know what? I want to talk about that. So I'm going to. But first, I have to see how everybody's doing. You doing okay? I'm doing good. Um, we just recently announced the winners to the uh, bronzer contest. So if you haven't seen that, you better go look and see if you won. Because I've only heard from one winner. Mm -hmm. They have to pull some more names. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Y'all, I'm so nervous every time that I drink my coffee now after blowing it out my nose. Uh, I get nervous now. I don't know why I choked like that. <laughs> That's awful. I do reenactment, but I'm not a good editor, so just go see it. It's marked graphic. What's it marked? Oh, y'all, look. Well, my hair just did that. Do y'all remember in the movie... Rudolph the Red Nose the Reindeer, and there was a little guy, he was an elf, and he wanted to be a dentist, and he had this little blonde, kind of Donald Trump twirl thing going on. Look, my hair just did that. Sorry, I didn't mean to be political. I never want to get political with you guys. Okay. I can talk to you about faith, uh, but I don't want to get political. It just, it never, it never turns out good. <laughs> enough coffee. All right. I'm switching to decaf in the evenings, just so you know. What was I talking about the other day I want to talk about again? Well, I showed y'all this, and I don't know why. I kind of do know why. It warmed my heart. And some of you are going, what is that? It's Coastal Scents Palette. Now, this is the Shimmer Palette. And it's the Ultra Shimmer Palette. And it's got 88 little rounds on it. Let me pull the little plastic cover off so you can see them good. Doggy ears from picking up velvet. Um, and I don't know if you notice this. Oh, I don't want the mirror to, but it's got two little uh, dual-ended um, sponge applicators that come with it. Like, that would really be enough. You have to have set, a set of brushes for sure to do this. But look at this. That's a lot of shadows. And you think, well, that's not really high quality. Actually, it is. To be so inexpensive, you guys, these are very highly pigmented. I'm going to show you this kind of champagne in color. It is the fourth up from the bottom on the first row. Let me find something else that's going to just really give you a picture of how well pigmented these are. This is the fifth one over and it's the blue. And let's just get a orange so that y'all can see that. There they are. Look how pigmented. Very, very pigmented. Now, they're not very big. As you can see, I'll put my fingernail next to it. They're not very big, but look at all the color sections. And over here, you have so many highlighters. You have so many pops of color. And then you have some neutrals going into, or, or some corals going into some neutral browns. And then into gray, silvers, and a black. You always got to have black in your palettes, man. I just think it's beautiful. And it just kind of brought back to me... Um, Hold on, I'm going to put this on my skin so that you can see it and see what it looks like. Because when you, gosh, I cannot get over the pigmentation. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. I don't know that that's a good depiction of how good it is on camera. But, I mean, just looking at this, I'm like, that is really good. Like, this is good makeup. Very inexpensive. When I bought this, it was $19.99. So, 
when I first bought it, I the one that I didn't show you the other night was this one. This is the 88 color eyeshadow palette. And what's the difference? This is matte. So then once I fell in love with the matte, then I went ahead and I got the ultra shimmers. So you've got a whole palette. Again, let me take off the little plastic sheet cover of nothing but matte. There's a little bit of sateens in here. There's some there's some sateens. They're not shimmers. Uh, they're not frosted in any way, but there are some sateens in these golds over here, and that's it. Everything else looks matte, y'all. There's like one or two. These two silvers, there's a kind of a light silver and a little, they're almost identical, by the way. Y'all, those are identical, so that must be very popular. These two silvers right here. One and two, right there. But the rest of these, except for, I think there's a brown, or kind of a brown gold right there. And that one is a little more of a sateen. The rest of these are all matte. And y'all, you can do so much with a palette like this. So for those of you that say, Beth, all you ever buy is high end. And I can't afford that. And nobody actually ever says that to me. But y'all, it's okay. I know that you think it. <laughs> and you know what? I did or I wouldn't have bought this. And this was my first real big, I considered an investment. Besides, you know, going to the drugstore and getting, you know, a, a Maybelline quad or something back in my high school years. where And I just held on to it and held on to it until I ran out. And then I'd go get another new color. And it'd either be greens or blues or browns. And I just had a good time with makeup. I've always had a good time with makeup. And um, let me see. There we go. I, I do like to keep these little plastic covers in here because these are such tiny little things. I just don't want them to fall out or get messed up. But what I wanted to tell you guys was if you, um, first of all, a drugstore is a great place to get um, inexpensive palettes that have very good payoff, color payoff, and good pigmentation. But if you really want a really big, good palette, then these are fantastic. You can order them online. I say that. Maybe I should go and check my trees and can still get Coastal Scents. There was another brand called BH Cosmetics, and there may be even another one. They're almost identical to this. Maybe I should get the BH Cosmetics, and before I make comment on it, um, compare the two. Uh, comment below if you you would like me to do that. If you'd set, if you'd like me to go ahead and get the BH and also compare it to these, because no kidding, I think almost anybody could afford twenty bucks if you save and save and save. Um, you could have a twenty dollar palette that will last you forever, and so many looks that you can do with it. So if y'all would like me to do a few tutorials, um, maybe not your normal, you know, not the brown and the crease that I always do, and a light colored lid and a light color under the brown on the inner corner but if you'd like me to do something maybe a little more colorful or you know nicely blended mauves or purples or blues or greens comment below of what you'd like to see and i would do what you would like you the watcher you're the watcher in the water do y'all remember that it was um what was it lord of the rings and there was a watcher in the water so anyway I wanted to talk to you about that, and I wondered, <laughs> that might be a good giveaway, because look, here's the deal, if I've got to order the BH Cosmetics, I sure don't need that if I've got all these Coastal Scents, so maybe I'll turn it into a comparison video, and then we'll have another giveaway. I know y'all think, Beth, why do you do so many giveaways? Are you just trying to get users, users, <laughs> YouTubers, what am I trying to say, subscribers? First thing I need to do is learn to talk. Subscribers. Well, of course I would like subscribers, but that's not why I do it. I really have the best time of contest. Because people get so excited when they win something. Oh, by the way, y'all, I got this new candle. Y'all remember I just got that Paris pink one and before that the peach cobbler one, the peach pecan. Both of those were awesome, but I I am loving this. It's called Lilac Blossom. This is Bath and Body Works, and it's a triple. Um, wick and it's just but it's very light so for those of you guys who think uh, keep that away by the way from your hair because hair has hairspray on it which is highly flammable so keep that away from your hair um, but um, what was I saying oh it's a light smell lilac is or lilac I don't know how you like to pronounce it is a very 
tender, light scent. And even if somebody's really sensitive to fragrances, this typically doesn't bother them. Um, I, for the um, announcement the other night when my husband was helping me, I did do the Lavender Macaroon, which is the Paris one, this one right here. And I just love the way it looks. It's pink. It's Paris. It's so me. It's, it's my, you know, I say my set. My set is not pink. It's the true colors of Paris, <laughs> which is kind of browns and deep, deep blues and burgundies and reds and cream and what the city actually looks like. But we like to think of Paris as black and white and pink, like poodles. You know, come to think of it, I don't think poodles are black and white and pink. I did have a, a, a friend at my local shop called Wags to Whiskas. It's where I get my baby's homemade, um, homemade, um, what am I trying to say? Cookies. They get their own uh, little treats. And, uh, so, I go and get them at Wags to Whiskas, and she has a little poodle, and it is pink. She's a groomer, and so she knows how to use, you know, animal. Um, Y'all, if you're wondering why am I taking so long, I'm taking a picture of Brie. She's got her little nose up in the little, and y'all are probably like, well, what does it look like? This is her. She's over there. I don't, I don't think y'all can see it. She's in the window. Do you see that? In the window, she's in little, um... It's a little reading nook that I have over there. She's got a little nose up on the window and she's falling asleep like that. It's so cute. So I did do that while we're talking. I think I'm feeling sleepy. I'm going to need to drink some calf coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, I, that's all I had to share today. I just want to tell y'all, find an affordable Coastal Sense. Choking just a little bit.